Shalom Aleichem everybody, hope all is well. Today we're going to go over an interesting, very deep topic that involves the performance of good deeds, mitzvahs, and the revelation of God in this world. And these are really the secrets of Torah. The, the ancient secrets of the Torah, which is taught to us in Kabbalah, and especially now in Hasidus, where Hasidus is the secrets of Torah, secrets of Kabbalah, explained in a way that all can experience it and understand it. That we know there's the Torah, we, the Torah we've received from Hashem with all the commandments and all the stories and all the laws and all the, the details. But then there's the hidden aspect of the Torah, the Kabbalah, the Kabbalah, the Hasidus, which is the hidden meaning of the verses, the inner codes of the verse, the inner meaning of the verse that really has the fire of the Torah within it, the light, the, the inner spiritual godliness of the Torah. So one topic that we're learning now in Tanya, it's a very beautiful topic, is that the altar Rebbe asked the question that, how could it be that we say, what is the, the Shekhinah? The Shekhinah is, the, the, is the, uh, the dwelling place of God in the temple. So we say, what is special about this place? I thought the whole world is filled with God. There's another verse in the Torah that says, Hello, it's called, uh, uh, Hello, it's Shemai V'taret, and Imaled, do I not fill the heavens and earth? And also says, Mala Aretz Kavod, the whole world is filled with Hashem's glory. So what's special about the temple? The whole world is Hashem. There's nothing else besides Hashem. It says, Ein Oed Milavadoi, there's nothing else besides Him. All of reality comes into existence from Hashem. So what's special about the, the temple, about this special place? So then we have to understand the idea of the soul. The altar of explains this is similar to like the soul. The soul is really, in, there's, this is one, it's infinite, the soul. It's a part of God. And it's, our whole body is, has our soul in it that gives life to it. But if you think about it, where's the place where the soul is most greatly felt? Because all that comes into our body is just a little, is a little ray of our soul. But really, our, our soul surrounds our enti- is in our entire body. But only a little ray of our soul is experienced with the body, and that's the key point here. It's the, the whole world is Hashem, but where is Hashem experienced the most? So that's like the soul of the body. The whole soul is in the entire body infinitely, but it's experienced the most in the brain. The brain is where we have thoughts. The brain is where we have the most sophisticated conscious and aspects of our of our experiences in our brain and from the brain it spreads out to our entire body a lower level a ray of the intellect of the brain comes into the fingers to to, to move your fingers to play an instrument to draw to move around to to, to to cut vegetables the intellect of the brain goes into the fingers and a lower level of, of our soul is experienced within our fingers and even lower level in our feet and you know a, a deeper level in our heart with emotions much deeper so from the brain so from the brain, there's a, there's, a, there's a deep revelation of the soul, not the entire soul, because the entire soul is infinite, but a little revelation of the soul, which is the highest of the whole body, comes into the brain. From the brain, this high level of revelation comes out throughout the entire body. That is a great analogy that Alter Rabbi says for the, the, the temple. The whole world is filled with God, and, and there's, a, there's an infinite godly light that is present everywhere in the world, equally. In the lowest of places, in the highest places, there's an infinite revelation of God present in all places. But it is hidden. So the question is, where is it the most revealed? The place where it's most revealed is in the temple, in the Holy of Holies. That is where the divine light is most intensely revealed. And from there it spreads out and diffuses, and becomes, you know, contracted and smaller, so to speak, and more hidden throughout the entire world. And it comes, just like in the brain, the most deepest revelation of our souls in our brain, where we can have the most intimate experiences with God. But then it moves to our body where the sophistication of the experience becomes lessened. So now we have to understand the power of doing a mitzvah. When we do a mitzvah, we're connecting to beyond the wisdom of, of the revelation of, the, of the, the light of God. We're connecting to the infinite godly light. Within the worlds, even the highest of heavens, it's still a limited revelation of God. There's still a a limitation and a, a border to that revelation and the parameters to that revelation. But there's an infinite godly light that surrounds the world and is hidden but present within all aspects of the world. And when we do a mitzvah, we connect to God himself and we cause a revelation of the infinite godly light that is beyond the worlds. Because a mitzvah is God's, wis- is God's will, it's God's desire, which is infinitely greater than the world. But here's the interesting point. When we do a mitzvah, when we do a commandment, perform a commandment, we turn the world into a vessel for this infinite godly light that is completely above the worlds. 
And now in this lowest of worlds, in this physical world, in the times of Mashiach, may it be today, this infinite godly light that is completely above the world, that completely beyond the world, is going to be open and revealed within this world and experienced. We're going to experience a light that is even greater than the light that is in heaven, infinitely greater than the light is in heaven. How? By connecting to God, by performing His commandments. And we're in the final days, my friends. We're in the last generation. Now is the time. Every extra deed you do is literally ex storing away an infinite godly light for you to be experienced in the times of Mashiach. And one extra deed can bring the Mashiach. And even most importantly, you're doing God's will. You're making Him happy. You're make, giving Him pleasure. God bless you all. May you experience it today. Please like, comment, share, subscribe. You can give a donation to the Torah channel. Any amount is infinitely appreciated. May you experience the ultimate redemption immediately.